Hey, what's going on, Scott? Oh, hey, man, what's up? How's it going? You uh, here to pick up the Barrett? Absolutely, man. I'm super excited. Why are you selling it? Oh, no reason in particular. Just thought I'd, you know, clear out some room in the gun safe. Okay, I guess that makes sense, but why are you only asking $100 for it? I mean, it's, it's a Barrett. Yeah, you know, it's a used Barrett, so depreciation and all that stuff. 100 bucks, it's all yours. All right, well, 100 bucks it is then. Awesome, man. Well, you enjoy and uh, good luck. All right, I'll catch you later. Hey, what the heck is this? This gun is way too dirty. What's up everybody? My name is Scott and you're watching Kentucky Ballistics. We're back out on the range and today we're going to conduct yet another science experiment with a 50 cal, but not just any 50 cal. Let me go show you what we got and we're going to get started. So here recently we recreated my accident from April 9th, 2021 when my RN50 exploded and almost killed me. An overcharged round of 190,000 PSI is what ended up blowing the gun. And the number one comment was, what would happen if you put that same round in a Barrett semi-automatic 50 cal? The problem with that is a Barrett is about $10,000. Well, luckily, you're watching the best YouTube gun channel there is, and here at Kentucky Ballistics, your comments and ideas matter. So today, we're gonna, we're gonna put a super spicy round in this Barrett. <laughs> uh. <laughs> so real quick, the RN50 is a single shot breech loaded 50 BMG, and this is a semi-automatic gas operated 50 BMG. We're comparing apples to oranges, but I still want to know what's going to happen when we load a super spicy round in this thing. So first we're going to take a few test shots with this thing, make sure it functions correctly, and then we're going to load a super hot round in it. Okay, so just like the last time we have a cinder block wall here that we've built. We drilled a hole through the cinder block wall. We have a string that goes about 150 feet that way. We're gonna be behind a truck and the gun will be on this side of the wall. So if or when it blows up, we should be 100% safe. I also have a ballistic dummy lad torso to put behind the gun. So if there is an explosion, we'll see if any of that shrapnel would hit you and potentially be fatal. I'm really curious to see what happens today. What do you think is going to happen? Leave your answers in the comment section down below. And while you're at it, if you're not subscribed, hit that subscribe button. So in my scientific opinion, I think the best way to check the function of this gun is by doing a mag dump. working pretty good. So now that we did our functions test on our Barrett, we got it set up and ready for the test. There's gonna be a slow-mo camera just off frame, so if this gun does blow up, we'll catch it all in slow-mo. I have a ballistics dummy lab torso here. It has lifelike organs and bones inside it, so if we have shrapnel, we'll see if it would be fatal. Even though we have a berm to shoot into, I went ahead and added some extra stuff just in case. Got a ton of ballistic gel body armor, bulletproof glass, and a steel target. Better safe than sorry, right? So now we're gonna take one test shot. That way we have something to compare to when we start loading in the hot rounds. This thing got partially destroyed in the last test, but it's still good. Gonna have that around the trigger attached to a string. We're gonna be about 150 feet that way and behind a truck. There's a weapon on safe, and I'm just gonna load these by hand. I'm gonna take the safety off. All right, test shot number one. Here we go. <laughs> Sounded pretty normal. Okay, looks like the gun functioned normally. We have our spent casing right here. Couldn't do that again if I tried. Gun's working good. So we went through all the ballistic gel, all the body armor. Um, we hit 
the bulletproof glass, and then we knocked over this big steel target also. So now we're gonna load this in there. This round should produce 190,000 PSI. It's the exact same load that we used to blow the RN50. Now let's see what it's gonna do when we put it in the Barrett M82A1. Weapon is on safe. Load this in here. All right, we'll send this home. All righty then, folks. Place your predictions in the comment section down below. And again, if you're watching and you're not subscribed, hit that subscribe button while you're at it. Safety is coming off. Okie dokie, let's get out of here. Here we go, all right. Oh, here we go. Um, I hear stuff hitting the trees, so uh, it may not have worked out too well for the bear. Oh, oh my gosh! Oh, wow! That Barrett's toast. Well, um, I was kind of curious what was going to happen because it's a semi-automatic platform, so that means that the bolt is going to come back, relieving pressure. I didn't really expect it to blow like this. Okay, so I've moved everything to this table so that we can analyze it a little better. Let's start with the dummy. He was a little beat up before, like in shipping, he kinda, he's got this little slit right here, but he's got some new marks. So right here was not there before, and you can see there's a little mark on his rib. So it made it into him and hit his rib. He also took a piece of shrapnel right here. You can see it goes inside him and it's actually right here. And I'm gonna try to dig that out. Right there. So judging from the explosion and what happened to the dummy, would you have survived? I don't know, I really can't say that. I don't know how hard this piece of shrapnel hit. Also, if it would have hit over here, it could have went in between a rib and now it's in your lung or possibly to your heart. You just don't know in those situations. But I can say this, I would not have wanted my face on that gun when it went off with that super spicy round in it. I can say this because I speak from experience. <laughs> now, let's look at the gun. I'm gonna be 100% honest, I was not expecting this much damage. I expected the lugs to shear off and then the bolt fly back super hard, cracking the rifle in some spots. I was not expecting a full-blown explosion. So starting with the back of the gun, you can see that when this went off, it forced the top of the receiver this way and the bottom this way. We have a huge bulge up top and a huge bulge on the bottom. In the slow-mo, I couldn't really see if the round came out of the barrel and I don't think it did. That was a brass solid and I believe that it pretty much just exploded because there's bits of brass color all inside this and all over the bolt. Looks like our carry handle held up pretty well though. Now the barrel. The barrel <laughs> completely came off. There's damage to the threads, but they are not completely sheared off. It looks like there's pieces of the bullet inside the barrel. The springs on the front of the gun are all kinds of warped, but the barrel 
did not explode. It doesn't look like anything actually made it down the barrel. I think that that bullet actually just broke up from all the pressure. Like I said, that was a 750 grain brass solid and it was producing 190,000 PSI. Normal operating pressures for a 50 BMG is 55,000 PSI. So that was really spicy. The bolt held up pretty well. We have some damage to the face and it is cracked, but it's mostly intact. Another reason I think that, that bullet just broke up inside the gun is this is painted with a nice brass color now. The mag was destroyed also where the pressure was going downward and it looks like it came down through the mag, bowed it out and completely destroyed the inside. So what did we learn from this? Would I have survived on April 9th, 2021 if I was shooting a Barrett instead of my RN50 when I loaded that super hot round unknowingly into my gun? Well, that's up for debate. These things are very violent and very unpredictable. The Barrett definitely would have exploded and shrapnel still would have went into my body probably still would have had a broken hand and probably still would have jacked my face up. Regardless, I don't think it matters what 50 BMG you're shooting. If you get an overcharged round, you're gonna have a bad day. So now we've blown up an RN50 and a Barrett M82A1. And I have to admit, I'm even more curious now. Now I wanna know what happens to other 50 BMGs and other guns when they're overpressured. How will they blow and would you survive? Is this something you would like to see more of? And if so, what guns would you like to see next? Leave your answers in the comment section down below. All right, well, that's gonna be it for today's video. It was a very exciting day of filming and I had a lot of fun other than the fact that we had to blow up a Barrett, but it was in the name of science. So it was totally worth it. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, do me a big, big favor, hit that like button and hit that subscribe button. Also be sure and check me out on Kentucky Ballistic Shorts, Kentucky Customs, Patreon, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Links to all those can be found in the description down below, along with a link to KentuckyBallistics.com, just in case you wanna support the channel by picking up a shirt. And as always, my name is Scott. Thank you so much for watching Kentucky Ballistics, and I'll see you next time.